Okay. What's this one? 11. Yeah, this one from, yeah, the reason why I looked at it, it looks pretty normal. Um, I guess one thing that did catch my eye is it does seem like there's some separation of the, the college from the sermon. Yeah. Yeah, the college has got a lot of white space between it. And yes, could be artifact, but this seems pretty prominent. So there's probably a lot of edema in here. And then, I guess as I got closer, even in this tower, you can see that the, the blood vessels look, uh, they look even dilated and, um, and they're feeling a little swollen as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's some neutrophils and eosinophils um, within them and, yeah. and directly around. Yeah, and probably scattered out here, I, it's, again, hard to see on this scan, but I see orange cells right there, and I see some cells with little tiny multilobated nuclei, which must be neutrophils. So, yeah, this is a great example of... Uh, urticaria. Yeah, I agree. I would definitely... This is actually... This is what I like to see for urticaria. And, again, I find the vessel dilation with the neutrophils, when you see that, not all urticaria has it, but when you see a bunch of neutrophils kind of collecting in the vessel, in these little small vessels superficially, I find that really helpful to support a diagnosis of urticaria. And then again, scattered EOs and uh, maybe a few mast cells here and there, uh, not clustering, just kind of scattered. So all of that's very nice. So that's actually a really good, really good classic example, I think, of urticaria. Edema, sparse inflammation, neutrophils in the vessels and scattered in the dermis.